project I'm working on today is uh, we're going to move this crib, this wood shed thing that I've got here that I used to use for my shop, and we're going to move it up to our camp. And I got the back open here with this old cap. I don't see any bees. So that's a good thing. So this cap's got to get moved first. And then uh, this wire and stuff. Get it out of here. So let's get that going. Okay, let's go and tie the front. If you know anybody that needs a cap that'll fit an older style Toyota truck or an S10, leave a message in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, I'm probably going to lose it up in the Area 51. So let's get this off here. I'm going to just pull this cap backwards a little bit. Okay, that top's pretty well cleaned off now. Alright. She's ready to go. This isn't going to work, so we're going to have to figure out something else. What I've decided to do is I'm going to take this apart and move it in two pieces. You can see there's carriage bolts here that I put in. There's four, and uh, I'm going to take off these landscape timbers and this tin. I've got the RTV in place to haul it, and uh, we'll take that up first, and then we'll disengage that side, the two sides. And I'll take them up one at a time, probably with my L tractor, I'm thinking. So let's get started. But we'll get them off.
Don't want that poking anybody or hurting them. All right, let's take those carriage bolts apart. Over here. All right, I'm gonna go get a container to keep all these bolts and screws together. Never like to hear that. There, get the L out and uh, take all this stuff up. I changed that chain. This is the side that bolts together here, and I need it this way. So I'll show you what I mean. Tentatively, here at our little camp, we're going to put this woodshed over here. Right in this area here someplace. I've got to do a little fill work. So right now, I'm going to bring that piece down and put it over here. And then when I'm ready to bring that in, that end will come this way over to where I want to put it. Where the bolt up is going to occur. The other piece I'm going to bring right where these benches are and bring it over here.
I think I'll probably run the 91 up to place these. Probably pick up each section of this and set it in. Stay tuned. We're up here getting ready to set up the woodshed for camp. I've got the two pieces. I got the 91 here. We're going to use this old uh, 2x6 material and 5 quarter material off a of deck. We're going to use that to stack our wood on and make our roofs and stuff. So we're up here working on it. It's a beautiful day. Again. This is approximately where we're going to put our shed, right here. So now we've got to get it leveled up with bricks and put the other side on. So let's do that. So what we're going to do here screws out, take this piece over, and put it on for an end. Then these two pieces are going to come apart and we're going to make a smaller shed on the back side. Place them with bricks once we get it level in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
around do you? Nope. You bring the big boys. We got the big guns. <laughs> there you go. Pulling her in? Yes it is in. Marking these boards, I'm gonna cut them. All right, these two boards in the back are long enough to go all the way through, so I'm gonna pin them on the ends. These other ones here, we'll have to cut. Okay, same thing here. I'm just gonna pin these here and then cut them. And put one inside each one here. All right, now we're going to cut these boards. pin these boards in. My helper went to get one more. We're one short. Now I'm going to pre-drill these because some of these are trying to split on me. Let's go down and pin the other end. Now I reset these boards at the end and repin them because I want this gap. block out for this brick. Good, perfect. That'll give it enough. That'll give it enough support. These bars are awesome. They do a good job. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just need an extra hand and they give it to you. This is when we cut off the boards.
right, this is the bottom of our woodshed. Now we have a gap in the middle there, but I'm not worrying about that because we're going to lay our wood in such a way that we'll probably cover that gap, especially here with the burn ring wood. So I'm not too worried about that. We'll see how this works. If we have to do something with that, then uh, we will. This one here kind of, kind of runs high. If the wood rolls a little bit this way, you know what? You start on this side and work that way. So this is going to work out great. All right, let's load some wood in here. We got to put some more screws in here. So I'm pre-drilling these. Shed is up. Tomorrow we put the roof on it. All right, as you can see here, this is the small side, and this is what we're gonna use for stove wood, for the stove that's inside the camp. It needs to be about a foot long, and this is perfect. This gap didn't bother us on this side because that third row laid right over it, so it's perfect. We'll be back tomorrow and finish this up.